this video, I'm going to show you how to obtain some malware. It should go without saying that you should use common sense. Make sure your lab is secure. Make sure you're not infecting anyone that you shouldn't. I know it might not feel like it when your computer is infected with spyware or adware, but it is surprisingly difficult to obtain significant amounts of malware for free. So as you can see, this is a repository available on GitHub. It has some interesting special choices of malware. Let me go ahead and download it. I'll also be wanting to disable Windows Defender. Otherwise, it might flag the malware as it gets downloaded. Windows Defender will reactivate when you disable it this way. However, there are other ways using group policy or registry keys to actually permanently disable it. Now, as a data scientist, you don't really want to spend too much time analyzing individual samples. Your goal is usually to be able to understand malware as a population. So you might use a few examples such as this and then try to extract information and then generalize it. So it would be rare for me to actually study each sample for days. The next step then after we analyze a couple of these samples by hand and understand how to obtain features will be to simply get a bulk amount of malware. Now, for safety reasons, I'm going to disconnect my VM from the network. I'm going to take a snapshot because I'm going to run some malware. Let's pick out some sample to try out. The password is infected and it is a standard password used widely by the security community. I'm going to execute it. It's a fast acting malware. You can already see it spawning all sorts of files on my desktop. So, as you can see, this file, the zip file with my malware, has been encrypted. There's an extension WannaCry. Even if I change this extension, I'm still not going to be able to open it. Now my desktop wallpaper has been changed. And here is the decryption screen. Fortunately, I have a snapshot. I can go back. Next thing I want to talk about is the malware dump we're going to be using for the course, which is going to consist of a large bulk of samples. It is hosted on Kaggle, and unlike this malware, which is live, the malware on Kaggle has had its PE header removed so that you won't actually be able to execute. But for our purpose, that will do. So this is where you find it, malware classification. You might need to create an account, which is quite easy. And then you can download the training set. So let me just show you a sample. You know what it looks like. Let's get the sample. If you look at the description of the data, you can see that there is a raw version consisting of the hex representation. And then additional features that have been extracted, such as function calls, strings, etc., generated by a disassembler. I will we'll want to download 7-zip real quick so we can extract this. Okay, where were we? Okay, so we have this ASM file, ASM file, bytes, bytes. So let's take a look at the bytes. You can just open it with Notepad. Okay, and you can see it's a sequence of hex numbers. So hex is hexadecimal, and in this number system, the numbers go from 0 to F. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But 10 is actually A, and then 11 is B, 
12c, 13d, e, f is 15. And then if you want to write 16, you write 1, 0, etc., etc. And if you want more details, you can read up on it. But anyway, so this is the sequence that makes up the file, except the header has been removed. And this is what we're going to use for our deep learning on raw samples.